to create your galaxy, what you're going to do is you're going to have different sizes of lids, and you're just going to decide where you want your lids. So these are going to be your planets. So you can have big planets, you can have small planets, you can have medium-sized planets. It's okay if your planets go off of the paper. That's fine. That actually makes it a little bit more interesting. So what you're going to do is you're going to use these as circle tracers. I have a large gallon ice cream tub for you guys to do that with. And so you can make different sizes. And so you're just going to trace them nice and simply. Okay. Then what you're going to do is you're going to decide what colors your planets are. So remember some of the planets that we looked at were different shades of blue. If you want to do the moon that was more like yellow and green and kind of cool looking, you can do that. So with oil pastels, the key with oil pastels is that they're blending. So you're not going to color the entire moon or planet all blue. You're just going to put in a little bit of blue. If we had a different shade of blue, we could do it in different shades. So we might do a little bit more. Then we could add some green. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take our white. And this white's a little dirty, so we can just clean it off a little bit. Or we can rub it on a piece of paper to clean it off. And when you take your white over your oil pastel, it's going to blend it together. See how that works? So that's how we went from this to that. And so that's what you're going to do on all three of them. Now that we got our oil pastel background done, we need to work on our galaxy background. We're going to be doing the same process we did with our koi fish. So we're going to start with that sunspot in the middle. So we're going to add water to that spot and we're going to wake up our colors. We're going to wake up our magenta and our cyan and our purples that we want to use. And then we're going to go in and we're going to start adding just the pink area and the bright area first. And then we'll go ahead and we'll add more water. And so if it's not blending the way that you want, you're going to need to add more water as you continue. So you're going to want your whole paper wet. And then you can start adding in your purples and your blues in your darker colors and kind of blend those together and blotch those together. Now you can move your paper a little bit. You can blow on your paper a little bit to help those move. Just remember that the more water that you have, the better it's going to blend. If you do happen to use too much water, you always can take a little paper towel or a tissue and kind of blot that up and dry that up. Hope that's going to get, help you get started. We look forward to see what you've created.